In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, we're heading to Springfield, Ohio for the Springfield Antique Show and Flea Market Extravaganza. This place by far is one of the best flea markets I've ever been to. From all the remarkable finds to the gorgeous high-end displays, this place is inspiration through and through. It's such a beautiful time of year and I cannot wait to take you along. <laughs> Did I tell you Jenny's here? Yep, this is her first time here and she's loving it. Oh my gosh, where's the beach? From all the wonderful food to meeting all the amazing fans of Flea Market Rescue, we're having the time of our life. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get the show on the road. All right, Karma, we're headed for Springfield. Here we go, waiting for that windshield to defrost and we're out of here. <laughs> I know it is a little chilly this morning. What be. time is it? 201. We're gonna we're on our way to get Jenny. And 52 degrees. <laughs> Yikes. Oh Jenny, here comes Jenny. Oh she's ready. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning, ladies. Hello. Hello. Whoa, whoa. Hi Jenny. <laughs> That is a bright light for this early. I know, morning. right? <laughs> it's only 4:15 in the morning. All right, you guys, look at this. We're at Springfield, and the police are directing the traffic. Is this our? We game? usually go up to game? the next one. No, we go up to the next okay. one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Springfield is an absolute zoo here. Woohoo! So we're just waiting to get in. There is a $20 admission fee. However, it is good all weekend long and it's totally worth it. All right, so Karma made these all up. Flea Market Rescue balloons. Right, Karma? Sure did. Yes, she did. And we're gonna tie those balloons to the wagon. And yes, you wanna bring a wagon when you come to these kind of events because who wants to carry all these bags? It's easier to just pull a wagon. How's I that? really like this wagon because of these fat tires. The other wagon that you will see later is gray and you have to do this. She is not wrong. You want to get the wagon with the bigger tires. Can I tell you, I am so excited to be here. This is the best flea market by far, and it's the largest one I've ever been to. It literally will take you two days to get through it. All right, let's start looking at some stuff. Whoa. This birdcage is absolutely glorious. They only want $14 for that, which I think is a really good price. But I just got here, so I'm just going to hold off. But I sure do love it. Have you ever seen so many metal tubs in one spot? These are wonderful to use as displays, or you can just put your beverages in there and ice it all down. That's a cool table. I love when they do that with the window frame. What pretty wreaths. And you know what? They're only $3. Can you believe it? I think I'm going to buy one of these. I'm going to buy this one right here. Man, they have just as many watering cans as they do metal tubs. Are these ever precious or what? But they're $65, so I'm going to have to pass on them. But I love them. They're super cute. As you guys know, I've been looking for fall decor everywhere. And look at it. It's all right here. This metal rooster is pretty cool. Wow, look at this weather vane. Just amazing. Do you remember that weather vane that I picked up that Debbie found? Let's see, Deb. Oh yeah, that's very cool too. 
It was even cooler when I got it on wrap. You just don't see pieces like this. What I loved about it is it was three dimensional. It wasn't like a flat weather vane. Whoa, hold the boat. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. A newspaper print pumpkin. We're gonna have to make one. And hello. Love that. Oh yeah. It's gorgeous. Oh yeah. These trees are pretty cool. You guys were all asking me. Oh my gosh, I think I found her. Last year, these were all printed on vintage bags and you guys were asking, where can I get these? And unfortunately, I didn't take her contact information down but I have it now, so I'll leave it in the description for you. About those bags last year, here she is. Oh my gosh, you guys, wait till you see this mantle. Like wow. St. Nick would have no problem. <laughs> Coming through. <laughs> I know, it's beautiful. Isn't it? Gorgeous. Had to come out of a mansion. All right, I showed you guys how to make these. Look, you guys, our wooden stars. Remember when we made those? I actually made mine out of vintage rulers, but you can make them out of any kind of wooden sticks. I'll leave a link to this project in the description for you. This table is so cute the way it's set up. I love the mix match chairs and I love what they have on top of it. Just look at it. It looks like the pilgrims should be sitting here eating a feast. $15 for an old chair like that? That's not bad. And no sooner did I say that, I looked over and it said everything $5. And they had these two cool chairs. I had to buy them. At five dollars a chair, that's an absolute steal. I like these chairs. I may need to get those. Oh, I definitely did. I asked him if he could hold these, and then later on in the day, Karma and Jenny went and got them for me. Come on, girls. Thank you for picking up my chairs. You got it. They are <laughs> <laughs> that, Jenny? There's what you need to Jenny do. just wants to sit down on it, huh? Like plan. <laughs> They're so sweet. I have some really good friends, you guys. What beautiful corbels. $5 each, that is a fabulous price. These usually go for $14 to $18. Oh, these are beautiful. I love the boxwood too. Wow. Look at this, you guys. I've never seen anything like this. This is called zebra grass, and they put it in a wreath. It looks so beautiful, but they want $30 for what it. What is that?
like something Joanne would buy because it's mini. Jenny is so sweet. My mom gave us all money to go shopping with. And you know what Jenny's doing? She's buying things for my mom. She's actually shopping for her since my mom can't go shopping. How sweet is that? It's a little cute. mini thing. Yeah. I like the little bowl. Wow. 10 bucks. 10 bucks. That's not bad. Was it for the two? Because there's yeah. no price on this. Mm, I doubt it. Somebody etched their name here. Neil Walker. Oh, this is beautiful, but it's $12, so I'm going to pass on that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Karma says we need these to portion out our food. Oh, that bee is beautiful. He's, I, he, I think he's stuck on. Oh, I remember going to this last year. This was a really nice booth. I remember these big sunflowers. I'm definitely getting one this year. So yeah, their booth is equally as nice as it was last year. I told you I'm getting one of these sunflowers. They're $5. Let's see what else they have though. Whoa, holy moly. Will you look at that spider? I didn't notice it at the time, but that thing's huge. And that's not a decoration either. Love that shoe. You could put an arrangement in there. I love these little frames. Oh, I think I need this one here. Those are five dollars, huh? I love looking through these old books for graphics. And at the flea market, there's no better place to find things like this. It's amazing what people save, and some of these books have been around for over 100 years. Oh my gosh, will you look at that little kitty cat? I've actually been collecting all these for Halloween. Cat. Heck yeah. Another cat. Like cat? No, no, this cat. But you know what, you guys? I have never seen one this small. I have to have him. I love this bittersweet and all the pumpkins displayed on this bench. This is why I love coming here during fall. It's so beautiful. I didn't think we were going to see any fans until tomorrow. Oh, Jenny. <laughs> oh, you got to love her. Mine's 25. That is really cool, though. Mm -hmm. I saw him holding it on. That is totally unique. That is cool. I asked her if she'd take 20 for it, and she did. So I am now the proud owner of this. Last year, I introduced you to a booth called Twigs and Berries. They actually were here for their first time, and my mom and I just loved them. They said they were inspired by Flea Market Rescue to go ahead and do this, and I really wish them much success, which they didn't need because their booth was phenomenal, as you're about to see. So we're gonna go into Twig and Berries here. This booth is phenomenal. I spotted this booth right away. What did I tell you guys? Beautiful, right? Oh my gosh, mom, look That's at all cool. this. I know, everything looks great. Anyway, they're back again. Great stuff again this year. Here, let's go ahead and meet them. There's, she's my favorite. Oh, there's Jennifer Hello. and her husband Gary. You gotta get in there too, Gary. <laughs> so we're just gonna kind of pan around your booth and okay. show them. Oh, oh, will you look at these snowmen? How stinking cute! Wow, these are really old. I love this boo sign.
Oh, these trees are really cool too. I love these pumpkins from Corrugated Tin. How clever. They also have a variety of vintage pieces mixed in, which is really cool. I think this was probably my mom's favorite booth last year, and we both love twigs and berries. I'll leave a link in the description for them if there was something that maybe caught your eye. Oh look, they're using one of my hang tags even. You can purchase the downloadable file for those tags in my Etsy store or on my website. Oh, cute. Don't she have cute stuff? Mm -hmm. Let me get you on there too. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> I love Jenny. She makes me laugh. Wait, you guys are on the back. Yes. Yeah. Let's talk to Sadie. Fifteen for the set. How cute. Yeah, very cute. I love their stuff. I only have an email address for Twigs and Berries. However, you could just email them and let them know what you want. And again, I'll leave all that information in the description for you. At another booth, I couldn't believe it, but I found these wooden shoes for $4. That's probably the best price I have found anywhere. You know we're going to snag some of these up for that price. There's just so much to look at here. Again, it takes you two days to get through this. Wow, that is a crazy looking pumpkin, isn't it? What is that even made out of? This is kind of neat, I have to say. Oh wow, they made ears of corn. You remember when we did that last year? Yep, we made ours out of old shirts. And I'll leave the link to this tutorial in the description for you. I have to say, I really love theirs. I love the yellow kind of husk to it. There's so many wonderful fall things here. It's so colorful, I love it. What was that? The steam. steam. What were we going to we'll do? make our shirts tomorrow for that. With that thing. <laughs> Jenny, she's crazy. And when I say that, I mean that in crazy fun. Yeah, they want me to get some Flea Market Rescue t-shirts. So we really are working on some merchandise. So stay tuned. We will soon have some stuff available. Speaking of merchandise, let me show you what we brought as guests for all the people that are going to show up for the meet and greet tomorrow, which I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. Hey guys, so we are working on bags. Right, Jenny? You're cutting out some Absolutely. stuff? Absolutely. Yep, they're going to be so Fire cute. Nine. And this is our last keychain. We just, yeah, we just finished it. Yay! It's the last keychain. I did tell you she's in theater, didn't I? <laughs> And then in the other room, Karma's doing this. All right, so Karma's working really hard. <laughs> 30 seconds, every 30 seconds. Yeah, we are making the bags for Springfield. They look so cool. Don't burn your fingers. Yeah, it's pretty hot, isn't it? 385 degrees, ready to cook a pie or something. <laughs> so we have the sheep, and we also have like these fall pumpkins and crow this year. This is what they look like on the bag. And we're also giving away keychains too. I'm so proud of these and I cannot wait to give them out tomorrow. I hope we have enough. Oh, I like this cow, look at this. Back of a chair. Oh That's yeah. Cool, huh? Yeah. This tote has the perfect look. However, it's $24, so it's a little more than what I want to spend, and I really don't think I can make a whole lot of money on this. These are really beautiful. I really like these. They have the perfect vintage white chippy look. Oh my gosh, I had actually bought the same duck for a dollar at a garage sale. Love the wooden spoons, and these are some really old ones. 
Tupperware? Yes. It's a pickle strainer. <laughs> a pickle strainer? You put your pickles? You would know too because... You put your pickles in there when you yeah. want your pickles, you pull it up and guess what? You get a pickle. Boom. <laughs> I have one of these. Do you? I do. I would have never, I would have never known that. These type of rugs are really cool. My thought about this is maybe do some wool pumpkins with like a real stem on there. Oh wow, how crazy is that? You see everything at the flea market, don't ya? Oh, it only gets worse. Look at that. That's scary. Like I said, you see everything at the flea market from weird to wonderful. This metal compass is so cool. I actually saw one of these at another flea market and they wanted $150. This one has 45 on it, but I asked her if she would take 40 and she said, sure. I think I'm gonna put it on my cottage. You all know I like dress forms. I'm wondering how much this one is. All right, it's $7, that's not bad. We got some rolling pins here. My sister used to play the flute. This rooster's kind of cool. Now that's a really neat way to display your jewelry. I love that idea. Very clever. I shop at this booth every year. She has a lot of cool things. Look at the division cards. Look at these old patterns. She has a lot of paper items that I really like. Some of these vintage spools would look really good in a, like a glass jar with maybe these next to them. What's she looking at, Jenny? Just some postcards and stuff. Oh yeah, old postcards. Mm -hmm. like a... Now the sheep is a little intriguing, but the fur, I have to say, has seen better days. Five, okay. This is kind of cool. Oh, you know, I can't stop looking at this old vintage silverware. Ever since we did that project with the little stamps, Remember when Jenny hit him so hard you could see the circle imprints? Now, every time I see Silver, I'm like, okay, would that work?
like a lamp. Isn't that a children's hat or no? It looks like I don't a... know if it is or not, but it like feels like it belongs. Don't do it. Do you see her face? Oh my gosh. Don't do I think it. Karma's worried if she puts that on her head, she might get lice. And can I tell you, Jenny put that down faster than she picked it up. That didn't stop me from looking at hats for my mannequin. Debbie told me, you know what would look really good on that dress for a mannequin? If you bought a straw hat and did like a flannel shirt on it for fall. And so that is what I'm looking for. Nope. Wait until you see this booth, you guys. It is done amazingly. I love these wood dough bowls. You could put like a candle in there. They would be really nice. This is absolutely glorious. Look at that piece of furniture. All right, let's walk around to the front of this booth here. This booth is just over the top. Look at this moose. It rests on a deconstructed chair, and over to the side, there's a deconstructed love seat that displays a bunch of pumpkins. This booth is here every year, and it's called Small Town Junk. All right, are you ready to go inside? Look at this grand display case. Where do you find something like that? This vintage cabinet is wonderful. Just look at this white pumpkin display she has on the outside. I think she mixes taxidermia, natural wood, pumpkins, greenery, and antique furniture very well. This was another incredible display by Small Town Junk. Now to my favorite booth of all time, Twig. I look forward to this booth every year. They do such a phenomenal job of displaying their items. You just have to take a look. Just look at how they have this displayed. It's beautiful. I love the cutouts on the vintage wood that display all their jewelry. I love these birds. This is so beautifully done. But the way they have this area displayed, it is an absolute showstopper. Check this out, you guys. This display blew my mind. I love the large ornate frame along with the vintage girl and the chandelier is the perfect finishing touch. This is a husband and wife team and their decorating skills are just phenomenal. Did you notice the old vintage pillars? You can tell a lot of time and thought really went into this display. I look forward to their booth every year. You know you're my favorite booth. <laughs> they use a lot of whites and natural wood and look at what they did with the brush. I've showed you that before in other places. I love when you can stick a photo in one of those vintage brushes. They use a lot of architectural pieces which really makes them stand out heads above the rest. Oh look, one of those wooden shoes. See, they're very popular. Every year, this booth never disappoints. I love Twig for that reason. I love all their items. They make their booth look so high end and they really give me a lot of inspiration. If you'd like to contact or follow Twig, I'll leave all the information in the description below. Well, after visiting Twig, we decided to get a little snack at the ice cream cone, only to be discovered by one of the fans of Flea Market Rescue. 
Look at Jenny eyeing my cone as we're taking a photo. Anyway, this lady was lovely, and when we asked her what she had in her wagon, she gladly told us. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. And I bought a couple urns, and we bought this, a sign over there. Okay. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love it. So, thank you. After we got done looking at her wagon, another woman who watches Flea Market Rescue approached us. She was so nice. I just want to thank all of you out there who watch Flea Market Rescue. I want you to know I appreciate each and every one of you. Hey, did you notice that Jenny's not in this photo? No, because she's getting her own cone. You saw how she was eyeballing mine. When she returned, another person from Nova Scotia, Canada came up. She also watches Flea Market Rescue. This is Kelly. Kelly even invited us to Nova Scotia. You never know, Kelly. We might head out that way. So thanks for the invite. That was really sweet of you. And thank you so much for watching Flea Market Rescue. Well, you guys, I like to think that Springfield is our happy place. There's just so much to see here, and it really is a fun time. But it does take you two days, literally, to go through this whole place. So as much as I hate to do this, we're going to have to have a part two. Here are a few scenes from next week's episode. Next week, come along with us as we search for more vintage finds. There's so much more we have yet to see. And even find some inspiration in some of the decorating trends. We'll enjoy some great food. And even meet a mother and daughter who were inspired by Flea Market Rescue to start their own business. But the highlight for me, I'd have to say, is really just meeting all the fans of Flea Market Rescue. Thank you for everyone who traveled there. And next week, you're going to get to meet all of them. So stay tuned for another episode of Flea Market Rescue! Oh, and did I mention, we even got the chance to meet YouTuber George the Antique Nomad. That's right. So I'll see you here next week for a brand new episode of Flea Market Rescue. Don't forget, our spectacular fall event is this weekend coming up. It's on Saturday, September 30th from 11 to 5. We've been working really hard to make it spectacular. We have tons of fall decor, so much so that we need two tents. We're going to have food, beverages, raffles, and a meet and greet. So I have Deb here and she's helping decorate. She's actually doing the decorating and you know how well she does. Just look at her porch. That speaks for itself. And if that wasn't great enough, look at this. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at it. Debbie went through her stash and she's giving me all this. Oh, you guys have to come to the spectacular fall event. You're gonna see all this. This is my favorite. Debbie, why are you getting rid of that? I don't want That's right, folks. All this is going to be there and more. We've even loaded up three vehicles of fall decor from our storage unit. All right, so we're at the storage unit right now and we are packing up for fall. When I tell you this place is going to be dripping, it's going to be dripping. Here's, here's, here's the side door of my car, too. Yep, it's completely filled with fall. And then we have Debbie here who's helping this morning and her van is also starting to become filled and I have stuff in my car too. Look at this you guys already. Love, love, love it. So this is just the beginning of us decorating. We have so much more to put out. Oh, and if you didn't watch last week's video, then you're going to want to know that Debbie is raffling off a sewing machine. Well, here, I'll let her tell you. This is my newest sign. I bought this at a garage sale. It works. You can still sew on this. And I paid $1. Oh my gosh. For the whole thing. I can't believe someone would sell this to you for $1. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this, you guys. Just these drawers alone, they're like $15 a piece. Wow. And it has, oh. And then the sewing machine in there. Let's yeah, just, the lady said the sewing machine still works. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I can't get it because, oh, the screw is off right here. Okay, but that's all right. Yep. All you gotta okay. do is put a little screw in it. Yep. And good as new. Yep. Keep wow. That. There's more than a dollar of just good scrap metal in this Yeah. And oh. so you guys, go ahead, Debbie, tell them. Well, I can't fit it in my house anywhere, but it's too pretty to donate. So I think I would like to wrap one off. Yeah, dollar ticket. All right, great. We're gonna do that at the um, so spectacular fun. fall Ever. event. Okay.
gets the bid, they'll pay what I paid for it, a dollar. That's awesome. All right, you guys, you heard it. One dollar could, uh, you can own this. Look at it. I love, love, love them. So as we get ready for this weekend's spectacular fall event, we hope that you'll join us. It's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Again, that's Saturday, September 30th, between the hours of 11 to 5. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.